Hey, PJ, good to see you. Um, what did your off season look like? Um, and when were you able to get really going back with, with physical contact, uh, obviously after you recovered? Uh, yeah, no, off season has been great. Um, you know, just been in the gym uh, continuously, continue to progress in every aspect of the game. Um, you know, it was good to, to know what I need to do uh, to continue to progress on this team, uh, help this team out. So, um, you know, just been in, been in the lab uh, consistently. I haven't done any uh, contact until I got back here in Denver uh, with the team. That was my first time doing any contact five on five stuff. So, you know, it was good just to get back out there, get my feet under me and uh, be with be with my teammates. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, PJ, I know that the, the offseason was still a little bit shorter than normal, but given the last two years, given everything that's been going on and, and the shortened seasons. Was it nice to kind of get away for a little bit to refresh and, and just get prepared for the next season? Yeah, uh, you know, I think everybody tried to take advantage of the time uh, that we had. You know, for me, um, you know, like I said, the last time I played 5 on 5 was that Laker game uh, when I went down. So, you know, I was, I've been ready, I feel like, before, you know, most of the other guys. Just a simple fact that, you know, my, my season was cut uh, short. But, um, you know, I think everybody tried to take advantage of the – off time that we had. And, uh, you know, like I said, we just have to be back. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Hey, PJ. Um, so uh, you're, uh, I'm assuming you're 100% then and you're ready to go. You'll, it'll, you'll be full go once training camp starts. That's question number one. And then part two is um, just, just where are you in terms of what do you want to do? What do you want to add to your game? What, what PJ Dozier are we going to see? Um, just give us an update on, on, on your on-court progress? Uh, yeah, you know, I feel great. Uh, continue to get better every day. Uh, you know, I'm ready to get back out there, get things going, like I said. Uh, but, you know, just continue to be versatile for the team. Uh, play multiple positions, guard multiple positions. Uh, you know, this my role hasn't really changed too much, uh, even with the uh, roster change. So, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to, to find out what I need to do for my team uh, to help us continue to get wins. Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Hey, PJ, you are considered one of the better defensive players on the Denver Nuggets. Uh, I've heard people even say that you are a defensive stopper. You can be a defensive stopper. Do you regard yourself that way? And how important is defense going to be for the Nuggets this season? Uh, yeah, you know, I feel like that's definitely uh, one of my main roles for the team uh, to get out there and, and, you know, try to stop the best players on the other team. Uh, you know, that's why I'm here. Uh, you know, I'm going to take pride in that role. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, yeah, in regards to me, uh, that's what I'm going to do for my team. And I feel like I could do that and help help us get wins. So. Christos Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hey, BJ, hope you're doing well. How do you see your role in the team this season and what result will make satisf satisfy? Time. Yeah, what? How do you see your role in the team this season with the Nuggets, and what result will make satisfy both yeah, as uh, a person and as a team? Yeah, um, you know, just to continue the role, being uh, versatile, uh, play multiple position, multiple positions, guard multiple positions, and uh, you know, the only thing that's going to satisfy us as a team and as individuals is winning. Uh, you know, so that's the main goal. That's what we're all here for. And, you know, I've, I feel like uh, each individual is going to do what we have to do uh, to make that happen. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, PJ, great to see you. I know you're super close with your mom and your sister. Did you get back to South Carolina during the off season? And maybe what was your favorite thing that you did off the court? Yeah, you know, uh, I was able to shoot back home uh, for a little while right after the season. Uh, my favorite thing, you know, of course, the home cooking. Uh, went home, ate a lot, uh, had some re relaxation time with the family. Uh, you know, so that's all I can ask for. You know, definitely a blessing. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, PJ, what's your first impression of the rookie Bones Highland? And what have you seen from him in, the, in these open runs you guys have been doing? Great talent, man. You know, he's definitely a great pickup for us uh, in this year's draft. Uh, he has, you know, like I said, great talent, great feel for the game. Um, you know, shifty, quick, long, can shoot it. Uh, so, you know, he's definitely a great pickup for us. 
Um, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to see his, his progress throughout this season. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, PJ. Uh, Bone said yesterday <clears throat> that, that Joker is grinding like he wants another MVP or maybe that he wants a new contract. Um, what, is, uh, what have you seen from Joker since he's been back in Denver in, in attitude and approach uh, and mentality? Man, uh, the MVP hasn't missed a beat. Um, you know, he came back uh, before a lot of guys. You know, you don't, I don't feel like you see that a whole, whole lot. But he was back here before a lot of guys getting work in. Uh, you know, he, he even looked good, you know, just getting here. Uh, you know, he was in great shape. You could tell he was doing something uh, even at home. So, um, you know, just uh, shout out to him uh, for continuing to have that mindset, the MVP mindset. And, you know, we, we're not going to continue to, you know, talk too much about it because we already know where his mindset is, too. And, you know, if this team is winning, he's going to get his individual acc accolades once again. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, PJ, good to see you. Um, you obviously may not have had too much time to work on new skills because of your rehabilitation, but um, are there any aspects of your game that you're hoping to kind of push forward and expand uh, beyond what you were doing last season? Uh, like I said, you know, I've just been working on being able to play multiple positions, uh, whether that's, you know, knocking down the three, corner three, uh, playing on the ball, setting ball screens, rolling, uh, everything, you know. So that's that's my mindset. I'm, I'm going to be ready to go out there and play whatever position my team needs me to play. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Okay, I'm going to paraphrase here, but Monte yesterday was talking about how making it to the playoffs, Western Conference Finals, that's not good enough for this team anymore, collectively, from a mental standpoint. Do you feel that way, too? Do you feel like this whole team kind of has that mentality of, like, it's win or bust now for this group? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we weren't even happy. Um, well, we was happy, but we weren't satisfied with that. You know, um, we, we, we had a great team. We had a great run. And, uh, you know, my mindset is only way, only one way, and that's up. So, you know, that's, that's what we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to get better. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for us. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, PJ. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. PJ, uh, without Jamal on the beginning of the season, what will be the DNA of the team? Uh Pretty much what you all saw, um, you know, this past season. You know, we did we like I, like I said, we still got the MVP of the league. Uh, that's our leader. That's who we played through. Um, you know, we're gonna come out and, and we're gonna be dogs. We're gonna make everything a dog fight. Um, we're gonna we're gonna play Denver basketball. That's all I can tell you. And it's gonna be fun to watch. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for sitting down, PJ. Thank you.